Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing for today. In today's video, I'll be talking about marriage. It will be in the series. I will talk about bigamy as well, what it means to a man and to a woman. So in today's video, I'll be talking basically about um, the types of marriage we have. I don't know if this video is that long. So today, I'll be talking about um, the types of marriage we have for like I said in Nigeria, as it applies to Nigeria. So in Nigeria, we have different three types of marriage. Of course, you might have heard about a uh, traditional wedding and church wedding font wedding and all those things all of them symbolizes what it is and um, of course like in Nigeria we have traditional marriage we have um, church wedding we have um, uh, Islamic wedding as well so those are the three types of uh, wedding we have uh, sorry um, let me not say church wedding because some, in some context church wedding can as well be a traditional marriage can as well be a cultural thing and uh, in some contexts it can be course wedding it's very that they are depending on what it is and how it's and it's applies so like i said those are the three types of marriage we have we have tradition for for purpose of clarity we have traditional wedding marriage we have um, marriage under the heart and we have uh, islamic marriage so when you hear a traditional marriage, it entails that the, the parties come together in some, like in the Yoruba palace, we call it engagement. In some other places, they call it the normal traditional wedding, which both families come together, they pay the bride price and everything. Once the bride price is being paid, it automatically entails wedding. And that's a traditional marriage that's been perfected, that's been seen as it consists a traditional wedding. So it entails the, the, the parents or the guidance of the lady handing over the uh, woman involved to the new family. This the most most times it's all, mostly like a family thing. Both of them they come together. They uh, as they agree on what to take and what not to take and everything, and the marriage um, is being seed. Now and okay, so that is that. Now marriage under the heart is basically referred to as cause wedding. That one is the type of marriage you go to registry to to perfect. Go to registry, you put in names after that, and that will be after the notice has been published, and there is no query to it or no objection to the wedding being constituted. So, when, so when that is being done, it's I must go to wedding on the wedding day to take your vows, your vows, and everything before the marriage registrar. That automatically becomes a marriage under the house. Now, you know, earlier I made mention of the fact that a marriage under the house can be. Done in church as well. Now, when your place, your church is a, is a in that church place of worship, and there is a licensed pastor in that church, and your marriage is not constituted, of course, you go to registry first to find a notice as well. And once that is done, it automatically um, it automatically amounts to marriage under the heart. Yes, once that is done, it is marriage under the heart as well. And now, when uh, your church wedding can as well be referred to as traditional marriage is when you, uh, your church is not a registered place of license. Uh, sorry, it's not a, re a licensed place of worship, and there is no licensed uh, pastor. And uh, as um, being uh, highlighted, as being uh, as being highlighted according to the law, any man that is not conducted. It is best described as church wedding. It is not marriage under the arts. And it is not in no wise different from traditional marriage that you've done earlier. So if you do traditional wedding and everything, and you go ahead to wed in a church in which it is not a lesser place of worship, what you've done is traditional marriage twice. One with your own biological parent and another one with your spiritual parent. That is just the difference. It's still the one and the same thing that have been done. No, in different sometimes maybe in different days or in different atmosphere. That's just it. Now the third one is Islamic marriage. You know, Islamic marriage is um, basically that one um, being done in the box, not necessarily in the box, or be done, be, it can as well be done according to the dictates of the Quran. Once it is being done according to the dictates of the Quran, like, okay, this is this, this is this, the bride price is being paid, and both families come for Sometimes the, 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 the husband might not even be there, the woman might not even be there. It is, it is a customary marriage. And, and no, sorry, it is Islamic marriage. And what guides Islamic marriage is at the dictates of the Quran. What guides um, marriage under the at the dictates of the law, and what guides um, 
traditional marriage are just the cultural things, the cultural belief of that society. So like I said, I don't want this video to be that long. It's five minutes already. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for tuning in. If you are yet to do that, please do well to subscribe. Do it to uh, put on the notification button so that um, anytime I put up a video, you will as well see. Thank you so much. Thanks for um, being with me. I so much appreciate uh, seeing you. And please do it to engage my engage this video. Do it to like it. Do it to leave a comment for me. What you think I missed out and what you think should be there. So in another series, I'm going to talk about the rights and privileges that come with the different forms of marriage you have in Nigeria. Thank you so much. God bless you.